The man was preparing to enter the capital for the exam, but the sky suddenly thundered and black clouds rolled. He looked up and was surprised to see a white dragon falling from the sky, landing right in front of him. The man fled forward in fear, but was suddenly possessed by a white light, and then fell unconscious. It was not until three days and three nights later that the man finally woke up. His name is Lee and he is 32 years old. He has taken the imperial examination for 10 whole years, but each time he missed the exam because he helped others. He vowed that he would be selfish this year. With what little money he had left, Lee went on his way. Not long after walking, he saw a fortune teller helping a passing student to tell his fortune. Lee walked up to him and wondered about his own future. But the fortune teller told him that his face was too long to succeed this year. And Lee is about to encounter some strange things. But the fortune teller is hesitant to say what this matter is. At the urging of those around him, he could only tell Lee that God's arrangement was not to be revealed. It was getting dark, and Lee was walking alone in the dark woods, chanting that he wanted to be selfish. Suddenly, a white light flashed, and he seemed to see the white dragon falling from the sky again. A burst of thunder indicated that it was about to rain, right in front of him there was a light on, and it looked like it should be an inn. Lee was just about to step forward when he was stopped by a demon hunter named Sheng. Sheng told him that there was something wrong with the inn and that it was better not to go there. But now in the wilderness, Lee could not find another place to stay. Only after he went inside did he find that the inn was really as Sheng said, the atmosphere was very strange. The roof of the inn was covered with bells, the owner's wife only showed half of her face, and the demon seeking disc around Sheng's waist is spinning. But Lee did not notice these, went straight up to the second floor. But Sheng looked a little extra excited. It turns out that the inn's owner and staff are all demons. And if they can catch these demons, Sheng's name will be on the demon catching list. By late at night, the inn began to be covered with vines. The three demons also showed their original forms and slowly crawled toward the second floor. But Lee did not hear any movement, because at the moment he was enjoying a hot bath. As his body slowly entered the water, a white dragon suddenly broke out of the water. His eyes were full of hostility, and he kicked one of the cat demons off the building, and the rest of the demons were also solved with two kicks. This all happened in an instant, so Sheng came out in time to see only the demons that were kicked to the ground. Looking at the constantly rotating demon-seeking disc, she had to take a shot at Lee. However, she found that she was no match for Lee. In desperation, Sheng had to activate the formation to stall for time. Lee saw the scene, but did not panic and attacked with water, and caught Sheng in the process. At this moment, Lee's face looks like a bright smile, but exudes an air of danger. But at that moment, Lee suddenly froze in place. Immediately afterwards he seemed to regain his sanity, oblivious to what had just happened. When Sheng saw him like this, he swung his fist and knocked Lee unconscious to the ground. When he woke up again, Sheng began to ask him about his identity. But Lee himself did not know what had happened, and naturally could not provide many useful clues. But Sheng still found some clues from Lee's only memories. Sheng found that exactly five minutes had passed since Lee was possessed. And as soon as he entered the water, a soul swap would occur and Lee would be possessed. As expected, the moment Sheng pushed Lee into the water, the white dragon reappeared. Sheng also finally learned his true identity from the white dragon's mouth. He was the Lord of Thousand Mountain Lake, but three days ago, he was assassinated on his way to the tribulation. The dragon body fell right in front of Lee. Lee met the conditions for the possession of the dragon spirit, so the white dragon entered his body. As soon as Lee touches the water, his soul will be swapped and he will have the power of a divine dragon. Now the only way to bring the white dragon back to life and leave Lee's body is to get the dragon pearl. The dragon pearl is the trophy of the first dragon subduing master and is usually stored in the demon subduing pavilion. So Sheng decides to take the white dragon to steal the dragon pearl, only they ignore Lee's thoughts. Lee wants to be a selfish person, and nothing can stop him from taking the test. Remembering what he said at his mother's deathbed, Lee left the inn in the dead of night. Walking again in the dark night, the call of the mother of dragons would come from time to time in the distance. Suddenly, Lee woke up from his sleep, only to find that it was already dawn. He packed his luggage and prepared to leave for the capital, only to be stopped by three robbers. Lee had only a little money on his body and was inevitably beaten by the robbers. So he jumped into the water, and the moment he did so, a huge column of water shot up into the sky. By the time the water column dissipated, Lee was standing there. He teleported directly behind the bandit boss and threw punch after punch. With a screaming sound, the three were easily solved. After Lee finished with the matter, he was ready to turn around and leave. Just then, a man came at him not far away. 
White Dragon recognized at once that this man, covered in black aura, was the demon hunter who had attacked him that day. But White Dragon was unable to use his full strength now, and was directly knocked to the ground by the other man's move. Just at the critical moment, Sheng appeared in time to save Li. It turns out that the man full of black air named Yin, is now the first on the demon catching list, but also Sheng's eldest brother. After this incident, Li also no longer escaped, he decided to resurrect the white dragon. Because he knew that there was a mother deep in the East Sea, still waiting for the white dragon to come home. It turns out that the person who claims to be selfish is actually not selfish at all. The two sneaked into the demon town pavilion and successfully got the dragon pearl. But just when they were about to leave, Yin suddenly appeared and threw a demon mirror. Under the golden light, the white dragon's dragon soul instantly appeared. Immediately afterwards, a dozen demon hunters appeared and surrounded Sheng and Li with their magic weapons. Faced with the sudden appearance of a large group of demon hunters, Sheng's hands were trembling with fear. But she still tried her best to protect Li, until she was seriously injured and fell to the ground. Looking at the approaching demon hunters, Li was in a hurry and poured all the water from the gourd on her face. In this instant, the soul swap, the white dragon successfully possessed. A dozen demon hunters joined forces, but still could not beat the white dragon. Then the white dragon chanted the incantation, put his own dragon soul into the dragon pearl. Now just put the dragon pearl into the water again, he will be able to recast the dragon body. But at that moment, the water tank suddenly burst open, and Li was directly knocked out. Fortunately, Sheng appeared in time to save Li, but she herself was seriously injured again. At this point, Yin looked vicious and threatened Li to hand over the dragon ball. When Li refused, Yin planned to kill his. At that moment, an old man suddenly appeared and knocked Yin out of the room. This old man is the owner of the place, and likewise Yin's teacher. It turned out that Yin had a dream since he was a child, that is, to reach the top of the demon subduer and become a dragon subduer master. But no matter how hard he worked and how good he became, his teacher was unwilling to recognize him as a master dragon subduer. So Yin absorbed the demon power and went to heaven to slay the dragon, thinking that if he subdued the dragon he could become a master dragon subduer. Only he himself has long been unknowingly confused by the demonic energy. Since the teacher stopped him, he killed the teacher. Yin let out a roar and instantly black chi filled the air. He revealed his true form as a demon king, while his teacher turned into three streams of light to engage with him. But in the end, the teacher was still defeated, unable to move by Yin's control. Seeing that the battle was at a stalemate, the white dragon had no choice but to let Li swallow the dragon pearl. In this way, the white dragon would disappear and Li would lose his memory, but he would likewise get all of the white dragon's magic power. After thinking it over, Li decided to swallow the dragon pearl. Immediately afterwards, Li entered the illusion world. In the illusion, the white dragon slowly emerged from the water and entered Li's body. It turns out that only those who make the dragon willingly submit are called master dragon subduer. As the white light dissipated, Li slowly got up. The dragon-shaped hairpin on his head is now a symbol of Li's status. At this time a breeze blew, Li's white robe gently swayed in the air with the wind, just like a god. Even if Yin is strong now, he is just an ant in the eyes of the master dragon subduer. Li urged his magic power, a golden dragon conjured up by magic power flew towards Yin. With the disappearance of the golden dragon, Yin also died. The whole world finally quiet. Since then, the world has one less student who entered the capital for the examination. And one more master who subdues demons and removes them. There is also a demon catching list occupies the first, but often come to the noodle shop to miss the scholar's infatuation with the woman.